Hello Stampers! I've got a peaceful scene for you today. It, I think it looks um, really pretty in this color combination. I've got Pool Party, Basic Gray, and Smoky Slate in here. And I think this is a great combination for a mail card. Um, look how nice and peaceful it is. Um, I, I made this a happy birthday card. Um, boy, masculine cards are so hard for me to come up with, but um, I think this will be a good one. So we're going to start today with our background panel in basic white. And I have all the dimensions for this card down below this video. Just click show more and you'll see all the dimensions there along with all the products used and the links for them. That'll take you directly to my online store. We're going to be using Grassy Grove stamp set today. Um, this has some really pretty, just nice images. Um, just make sure that your ink pads are well inked when you go to use these. Um, there's such uh, fine detail in them that you want to make sure that you get all that great detail with your stamp. So don't make sure you're, they're well inked and not, not dry. So there's Grassy Grove, and we're going to be using these trees and a deer and this um, flowers. So for the greeting, I decided to use the go-to greetings. This is a new stamp set, and I've used it so much here lately. Um, we're going to be using the Happy Birthday out of this. This is a nice, strong font that I thought would show up well on the card. So that we have that. And let's get going on our main project here. Um, this basic gray panel is three and three quarters square. And I cut a two inch circle die out of a double layer of post-it notes. I have a double layer of post-it notes here. And I cut it so that the sticky part is at the top of this. And then use the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna place this right up almost to the very top. It's in the center. Then I'm going to bring in some Night of Navy ink and a blending brush. And I'm going to blend this all along the top here. And I don't want to come down any further than halfway on this circle mask. And you want some good strong color here. I thought it looked best when it was really quite dark. There we go. I'm going to bring in Pool Party. And another blending brush. And I'm going to use Pool Party here. I'm going to go up into that blue some here at the sides. So after you put it on and you've come down and you've just gone a little bit underneath that mask, we're going to go ahead and take this mask off. I'm going to use that same pool party color and we're going to blend up into that moon. This is where you're going to get that misty look in our background just by adding that pool party on that moon there. And then we're going to finish off and just blend this all the way down to the bottom of the panel. I don't worry about it being total solid coverage down here. It can be blotchy, that's fine. Just make sure you have that color in your background. There we go. Kind of like that. Now I'm kind of leaving the top of this moon um, white so it really stands out against that night of navy. So next I'm going to bring in some Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to stamp this. Um, it's the ground area that has the flowers on it. And I'm going to stamp this across the panel. 
but I'm going to leave, uh, I would say at least three quarters of an inch below this image. I'm going to stamp it a couple times. I even overlap it a little bit in the middle. There we go. Now let's add some trees to that. There's a, a stand of two trees here from the Grassy Grove stamp set. And I'm going to add both trees to the left side. Just to make sure their trunks are down here in the dark area of this land piece. I'm going to ink up again and I'm just going to stamp one of the trees on the right side. There we go. Now how about our deer? Let's get our deer in there. Like I said, make sure your ink pad's nice and inked up so you get all that fine detail this stamp was meant to have. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so I can see. I want that deer's feet to be in on the ground. I want him levitating. So there is our deer. And I'm going to bring in just a bit of um, basic, uh, some of this black, a uh, memento tuxedo black and a blending brush. And I'm going to blend it at the sides here. And bring it in a little bit. I want it nice and dark right at the sides. And then I'm just going to use the tip of my brush and blend just a little bit in there in the center. So it looks more gray in there, um, but you can still see that green through it. That's going to give you that look of that there's like water there. Okay, now for a little um, white gel pen. And I'm using a Signo gel pen that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to add um, white to all the white areas on this deer. Just so it really stands out. Its tail's white down here. Um, there's white on its belly. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white to each ear. Okay, that helps stand that deer out. And then I'm going to add some dots on this tree that's on the right. I'm going to put it on the left side. And then the trees that are on the left, I'm going to put the dots on the right side. Because um, the dots are uh, just a little shimmer from the moon shining on them. So the moon would shine on the left side of the right tree and on the right side of the left tree. So I'm gonna add some to that second tree. Then I'm gonna add some here in these little flowers um, where, there, where you can see the actual flowers. I'm just adding some dots to them, even over the deer a little bit because the deer's kind of standing in them. So some of them would be in front of the deer. So make sure to put a few dots there in front of the deer. Okay, so we have our dots for our flowers at the bottom. Then I'm gonna very lightly add just a couple streaks. I'm barely touching the paper here in the water. Um, you don't want very much of this just a little bit and then usually before I put my pen up I just kind of wipe it off just to make sure there's not a big glob on the end of my pen and then when I store it I store it flat um, that tends to help me with them not drying out so quickly or getting that um, tip will dry the gel will dry at the end of the tip and um, that's just disastrous so I've never been able to get them to work again so there is our, our finished 
seen. It was so easy. It, it came together really quick. Looks like you spent a ton of time on it, but it's it was easy, right? So we're going to put that aside for now. And I'm just going to bring in a piece of smoky slate cardstock here. And this is two and three quarters wide. Um, this is just a long piece of scrap that I had, but I make sure it's two and three quarters wide. And this is what we're going to stamp our sentiment on. I'm going to bring back that Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to stamp this at the very bottom of this piece. Like that. And then I'm going to just trim it off. And then our sentiment will be all ready for our card. I've used my paper trimmer and I trimmed the, that piece off. And now we're ready to assemble our card. We have some light panels going here, so I just want to flip this inky paper over real quick. There we go. And here is my card base. I have a Smoky Slate card base that is five and a half by eight and a half, and then I folded it in half for a quarter card. Then I cut two pool party panels that are four by 5.25, and I put one on the outside of the card and one on the inside. Then I have a basic gray panel that's three by five that I put here in the center. Now we're all ready for our sentiment, which goes here at the bottom. I'm just gonna glue it on. I'd like to put this on first, and that way I know where to put my main panel. So I'm adding this to the bottom, kind of centering it up there. And then I can put this on, and I know that I can come down so, you know, just so far. So this is framed out nicely down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to use my multi purpose glue for that too. Add a little love inside and add this to the front. And there we have it. There's today's card all done. I hope you enjoyed this project and that you give it a try. Thanks for joining me. Bye.